All right, so unpacking everything, trying to get everything organized. Um, in the new 2019 Cascadia Freightliner. And uh, it's nice. You know, I was a little skeptical at first, you know, uh, being in that uh, 2018. Let's see, I'm not going to use this one. I got some really nice uh, big swift duffel bags. You know, you can almost put a body up in these bags. Okay. That ain't the one I want. Mm. Oh man. But yeah, so when I moved in here, um, as you can see, my refrigerator can't push it back into the wall right here because they, they got a little cabinet the way it's 2019 is kind of designed but uh, you know I'm not complaining I just have to you know make do but um, like I said I'm just kind of trying to get uh, stuff organized because that's what you do you got to get your house in order you know, where you live at, you know, where man uh, lay his hat, lay his head, hang his hat, that's his castle. And right now, when I uh, spend time on the road, this is uh, where I be. You know. So anyway, that being said, how is everybody else doing? It's the holidays. Um, didn't get to say very much during uh, Thanksgiving, but it's, uh, it's Christmas season. We don't have no snow on the ground right now. It, it has come and gone. But I ain't trying to talk no snow up either. So anyway, I'm home running local freight uh, I've given up over the road for the time being um, I have some things going on here at home that uh, requires my attention so do I miss the road I miss the road uh, but this is important why I'm here so having to adjust to shorter runs but it still gives me a little bit of excitement because every day is something something different you know it's never the same So I was getting ready to uh, turn on some Netflix, watch a few movies. Uh, I got all of the uh, Predator, Predator 1, 2, and 3. There's a fourth Predator, the newest one. Uh, I don't have that on uh, DVD yet. But I've also downloaded those movies onto my phone so I can actually watch it without having to look at the TV. But I have a 32 inch television. I was going to watch some Netflix. I uh, really watched that movie. Um, what was it called? Uh, something Heist. Hurricane Heist. Now, that was a good movie. That was a real good movie. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> yeah. packing these bags pretty tight. I don't want to, you know, bust the seams or anything, but some of the stuff not going to go. But, you know, 
I wish I had filmed more while I was out there. But, um. Uh, yeah. So much space in here. I remember looking at uh, different truckers on YouTube and uh, you know because they gave me a lot of inspiration too and I still watch uh, the the, um, the truckers that I used to watch back in the day you know I ain't no need me naming off any names I mean they they're all making their mark uh, I didn't do this here for no fame or anything of that nature. You know, I just did it because I wanted to uh, just kind of have like a, a documentary of my journey, you know. Um, but since I've been doing this for a while now, uh, I still carry on the moniker, the bus driver. I don't drive buses now. Uh, I am a trucker now, so, but, uh, man, I tell you, I, I've seen some things out here. Oh, I didn't tell you, um, someone wrecked into the back of me, just, man, ran smooth in the back of my trailer. You know, I was in California, and when you're pulling a trailer or a car you pulling anything hauling anything the maximum speed limit is 55 well I was doing 55 56 you know uh, this car was doing at least 75 miles an hour and a uh, cell phone using that cell phone you know so the cell phone was distracting the driver ran right into the back of my uh, trailer and uh, bent in the bumper bar as well as bent it in such a way that it busted the back outer driver's side tire. And that put me out of commission before about five hours. And that made me load, made me late on my load, delivering my load. Uh, I was on my way to Denver, Colorado. It set me back. But uh, I was not at fault. And it was, there was nothing I could do. You know, I was abiding by the law, driving forward. This car come barreling faster than me, about 24 miles. No, take that back. About uh, nine, no, 19, about 19 miles faster than what I was going. And uh, ran into the back of me. I mean, it happens. You could be as safe as, you know, you could be as safe as you want to be out here. But if somebody's going to hit you, they're going to hit you. And you just have to deal with the uh, circumstances. I had never been in a wreck. So I think I handled it pretty well. Um, there were actually witnesses who saw what had happened. They saw this driver back uh coming off of an exit they said he was weaving in and out of traffic you know he was driving real erratic and um they the ones who called the uh highway patrol and they came and they responded you know took our information down my main concern was you know will this be an incident on my uh cdl driver's license and uh Man, I, you know, I'm not at fault. That's what I'm told. But, you know, it still feels kind of uneasy because I don't know what to expect. I don't want there to be an incident on my CDL. CDL is something you have to take care of like it's a baby. You know, another bus driver had told me that. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you. Uh, and it's true. You do. You have to take care of those CDLs like they're a baby. You know, so... You go out here and you take a chance of drinking, then you get behind the wheel. I mean, 
That's career suicide. You know, I wouldn't do that. You know, but anyway, I am uh, just trying to get everything settled in. Um, didn't have a, a run to make tonight, so I am um, taking it easy. It's been a while since I've been able to be still like this. Cause I don't really do 34 hour resets. I mean, I'll, I'll get them in whenever I can, especially when I don't have a choice. You know, maybe it's a load or something that's not uh, ready or something. I have to end up doing a 34 hour reset. But I have been busy. I've been busy. Um, I gotta unplug some plugs and plug some plugs up because I don't want to overload my circuits here. But I gotta my microwave and everything. I'm gonna hook me up something to eat. I got some burritos in here and uh, no meat. Okay, I'm a vegetarian and um, you know I don't deviate too too often. I have had some meat so. I have, it's just a little bit of meat, you know, tuna. You know what I'm saying? Tuna. So, but, um, for the most part, uh, vegetarian. Drink a lot of water. And uh, that's what helps my skin stay so clear. Youthful looking. Because if y'all knew how old I was, y'all would give me credit. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a yoga practitioner and um, you know well anyway 2019 Cascadia Freightliner man this is really nice and this is up from a 2018 uh, Freightliner Cascadia Freightliner you know there was some talk about you know these are always in the shop and I won't know until actually I get to driving see if there's some any, any problems or anything but uh and i feel like i'm rambling on again just talking just talking but i'm gonna burn some incense um i went back to the old truck i had to have my uh incense blur 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 i had to have my incense holder so I'm about to burn some incense, some Nag Champa. Uh, I even got that um, incense called Vampire Blood. They claim that it's got some additives in it that kind of hmm, distort the uh, the environment. I don't know. I've burned that stuff, man. It hasn't done anything for me. It says it heightens your senses. That's what they say that that vampire blood incense does. I don't know. I like it though. I like the smell of it. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because I want to watch some Netflix. I'm not for sure. I want to get on the PlayStation, but mm, I don't know. All right. Peace out. <laughs>